Oh, that feels really good. Let's do that again. That's excellent. Now, one thing I greatly admire about the Japanese is their craftsmanship. It's, it's in their blood and somehow I think most of the people around the world doesn't seem to have that other than the Germans, I think. That's my general understanding about the craftsmanship. Anyhow, um, that's one of the main reasons I bought the Fender Jaguar model that is made from Japan instead of US. Uh, not only is it cheap, but also their craftsmanship. But I know I made a video about a Japanese uh, samurai sword shape that is made from Japan to be my unboxing knife but it's actually more like a letter opener than a knife if you see what I mean it's not really sharp enough so I decided to get another one that is actually made from Japan and what we have here is a Higono Kami knife that is actually being made since at least from 1897 that's the letter that you get i mean on the back side you get this authentic letter that's all written in japan um, but technically i was the number one uh, backer of this kickstarter project but it's already available on various markets because it has been more than 100 years since this knife have been available but i just thought uh, since I'm gonna get a new unboxing knife, why not make a video out of it? So let's get into the details, especially onto how sharp it is. So here it goes. Um, well, that's another plastic seal, but let's look into the letter. It actually says, uh, Dear backers, a piece of traditional Japanese knife history comes to Kickstarter from the only true makers of the Higonokami knife. So the only true makers, that's very good. We appreciate everyone's support that brought us here. Thank you so much. And there's some of the um, precautions actually. So obviously, yeah. Um, one other thing is this uh, Subaki oil um, with white with cloth. So I don't know whether I'm gonna get, I need to get this, but anyhow, that's one of the precautions of the maintenance and also keep out of the reach of children, people, okay? And um, I have no idea what this is, but if anyone who knows how to speak Japanese can kindly uh, interpret this for me, that would be great. I think this is Japan. I think that's three years Kickstarter, probably that's the three years uh, warranty card. Anyhow, we got also another Higonokami um, and all the Japanese um, wording here. And if you open up, there seems to be another card. I don't know what that is, but it's all written in uh, Japanese as well. So if anyone could kindly interpret it, that would be great. The final bit is the actual knife. Knife. <laughs> and um, if you were to zoom that in, that is quite nice. Already a bit of a scratch, but I like that. And also, I think that writing is very similar to... Yeah, it's exactly the same writing, isn't it? So if anyone could interpret that, that would be great. I presume it says he gonna come in knife or I don't know. Anyhow, here is the actual blade. Nice, look at that. Can anyone interpret that as well, please? And immediately, it's a very thick blade and somehow I feel the force of sharpness and I don't really wanna cut myself into it, but that's really nice. Um, there's a bit of a crack here. I don't know whether that's deliberate or not, but yeah. So maybe you can use, connect this to your uh, key ring, but I wouldn't advise that because it's quite sharp. So what we have here is a digital microscope um, along with the Higonokami knife and the regular Joseph Joseph knife that we use for various purposes, especially for cooking. So if we were to zoom in um, on the Higonokami knife, let's look at the cutting, shall we? Um, look at that, all those writings. Let's just try to focus that in more. That's better. Now, all those writings are really cool. <laughs> And that, the way how they actually cut the blade uh, looks really seamless. Look at that, all those 
lines of array and what mostly what I'm curious about is this sharpness on the edge so um, so it's quite thick for the actual blade itself but it's a bit rough as well at the same time and um, as you were to go to the front side of it as we angle to the the tip end here is that you can see it's, it looks almost like, let's just try trying to zoom that in. Okay, that's good, that's better. There seems to be a bit of a mixture and rough, um, and then that coated metal seems to be um, final off on the edge itself. And then if we were to look at the sideways of the actual blade itself, look at that, that's so clean. Um, and the actual edge of the blade itself is really tiny and sharpened up. Yeah? I mean, that's really good. I like that. The actual blade, I don't know whether you can see, is the end bit, that is, the way that the bit that it cuts is really thin. I mean, the re reason why I'm saying it's really thin is that if we were to look at the Joseph Joseph knife, I mean, compared to the size, is actually a bit wider. And um, obviously it's worn out, but um, that's the actual Joseph Joseph or any of the regular knives uh, that you will be using. So it's a bit rough. While as the Higono Kami knife, we go back again. It's really seamlessly tiny and then very sharp. I'm really impressed with that, really excited about it, and um, it's a beautiful knife, I have to say. I mean, especially those writings, those are really impressive. So I got a regular cereal box, so let's actually try out how sharp it is. So, oh, that feels really good. Let's do that again. That's excellent. And what we have here is that it not only cut into the first layer of the uh, line, which is a really clean cut, that is. Um, I think it actually penetrates through the back as well. While as if we were to use a regular Joseph Joseph, yeah, that kind of irritating kind of feel. It didn't really went through, as you can see. It's just a bit of a scratch. So uh, I know the second cut didn't really uh, affected it, but let's try it again. It's just you need a bit of a force on it and when you try it, it just clearly cuts it out. While as if you really try it, you might just be able to get it through with the um, Joseph's Joseph knife. Now, uh, this one I really pushed hard and unfortunately actually went through the other side as well. So you can see how sharp this Higuno Kami uh, knife is. So I'm really impressed with that. While as let's actually look into the um, the way how it's cut in if we were to focusing on it so um, let's record that as well at the same time so this is the uh, Higono Kami knife uh, cutting okay that's beautiful I mean let's look at the deepest cut that I made that's the Higono Kami knife uh, cutting while as the Joseph Joseph one is a bit more pressed in okay so can you see the difference here actually they're both pressed in to be honest with you but um, it's a bit rough this is the uh, Joseph Joseph cutting look and the actual look at that that beautiful light line it's just seamless just goes on and on and on while well, as the Joseph Joseph one you can see it's actually a um, bit of a fragmented bits here and there rough can you see that some parts is not really cut while well, as the Higono Kami knife that is just beautiful indeed so for anything you buy you want to get a proper 
proper item and you pay good money for it and that's my philosophy to be honest with you and that's one of the main reason i love to get one of these flagship phones which is the samsung c fold 3 um, and also regards to the um, unboxing knife i think this is a perfect product because the size of it and it's also made in japan and the way how it feels when you cut it it feels really good i can see that the blade itself is thick and um, you can see that even though it's not really clean on the top but once you apply uh, to a little force it gives a really nice clean cut even I actually uh, magnetize it for you guys for your entertainment um, but I know this has been around but I just thought that why not see and find out why such Japanese swords or blades are so well known with their craftsmanship and I hope this video demonstrated it and I'm sure you're gonna see more of this uh, Higo no Kami blade on my upcoming videos for unboxing and um, yeah I think I made a really good purchase here and I'm really proud to be the number one uh, backer of the recent Kickstarter project for the Higo no Kami knife so it's a beautiful blade um, and um, you'll see more of it. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any further queries or challenge you want to make regards to this Higonokami knife, please let me know. All the best. Bye-bye.